So hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration. Um, in this uh, video I'm going to quickly show you how you can use AWS CDK uh, to implement a, uh, a, an email cron job in AWS. Uh, so a cron job is essentially something that happens every x time or x minutes or days and so on. So let's just uh, first initialize our project as uh, in our CDK project. So I just say CDK init uh, language and that would be TypeScript. So this will initialize the project and give me the uh, structure of the folders and everything that I need. So it, you're seeing it here. So it, it's going to take a bit of time because my laptop is pretty slow. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you could fast forward, but I'm going to also explain some of the stuff that I'm going to do here. So, um, as I said, this uh, as a cron job is essentially something that you would want to run every uh, minute or every hour or every day or every year. Um, so that is what you essentially, uh, the, the, the basis of this cron jobs I'm going to, is what I'm going to explain in this video. Also, I'm going to, uh, when this event rises, like, you know, is this every minute or everything. Um, in this video, I'm going to uh, create a, 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 an SNS notification, which kind of sends the emails uh, to certain uh, subscribers. And uh, yeah, but you also can extend this, um, this code and this, uh, what, what we're going to build here um, to have some, I don't know, to have uh, maybe, um, uh, yeah, a lambda function that gets triggered or um, th there are a lot of possibilities I'm going to show you um, right uh, right now just in the following so first thing first um, I'm going to need the dependencies uh, for this uh, to work so first I'm going to need the AWS events module this is the module that is responsible for uh, kind of uh, for this for notifying us when this uh, this Chrome expressions uh, Chrome expression uh, uh, condition is met. So first is this AWS event. Then I'm going to need AWS event targets. So these are the um, this is like these targets are the things that are notified when that uh, condition is met. Then I'm going to need um, the subscriptions module because, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to need the SNS module uh, to, because as I said, I want, when this condition is met, the condition of my, condition of my Chrome expression, I want to send notifications. If you, if you have Lambda functions, you can uh, use Lambda instead of um, SNS. So then I'm going to also need SNS um, sub, so these are the modules that we need uh, now let's head to our uh, stack in our in the lib folder and add the stuff that we just created uh, also I'm going to do this so AWS um, So I'm going to need AWS events. Let's say events. You know what? Let's first install uh, the uh, dependencies that we have defined in our package of days, JSON. So, um, but parallel, in parallel to that, I'm just going to try to import the stuff. Uh, hopefully the right um, event then I'm going to have the event targets targets yeah and then uh, we need the SNS module and SNS and then I'm going to need the SNS subscriptions 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 so have I made any 
mistake here I don't think so it looks fine but let's see our package JSON AWS events so it should be fine but I don't know why it is not pulling that one dependency um, that's odd so let's do it like this import star from as as events from so it brought the dependency so it's here great so now um, so let's see what we got we want to do here so firstly we, we need to set the rule set the rule main this Chrome expression uh, for the Chrome expression then after that I uh, you know uh, after that I, I'm going to add this uh, our just the logic when the condition is met so these are the two parts essentially that we're going to do so first the rule I'm going to say const rule equals new event dot rule and then this the ID and of course and the rule itself so it's gonna be schedule and then I'm going to say events that schedule that exp or you know you have some other possibilities as well but you know uh, you could say I'm going to do it this way but you could also use this express the rate and crown here but I prefer this one let's say expression and then here uh, I'm going to add this in a parentheses so now rate uh, I let's say I want to send this email every minute every minute now this is exactly believe it or not this is as simple as that you just say uh, the expression and the rate um, and then the, the frequency that needs to happen uh, before you hit before you get angry at me uh, I'm going to also add uh, the Chrome expression but I'm going to uh, just first give you the simple variant if you could not do the simple thing the simple variant that I just showed you with this uh, rate uh, then opt for the Chrome expression but if you can lose uh, the problem that you're solving with rate then it's it's the simpler option and it's easier to understand so um, here I'm going to say every one minute you I could say every two minutes it's pretty expressive or even every day every two days and if I say one day then I have to take the S off but I'm going to just stick with minute um, yeah that would be exactly it now if I wanted to do Chrome it would be quite uh, more much more complicated than that so um, let's say I wanted to say um, this email at 6 p.m. at 6 30 actually from Monday to Friday so it would look something like this I would say first the minute 30 then the hour then uh, I believe it's uh, uh, then that uh, the, it would be the day of the month then month itself then day of week I was I could say month I have to say I have to do it in all capital uh, Monday till Friday and then year as well so um, as you can see this is like you can really cover very uh, complex situations with this um, you know at certain times and everything but as I said if you could keep it simple keep it simple I just keep it to one minute and yeah so that was the first part that was that is where we specify the condition that we wanted to, uh, to, 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 to happen to, for our code to run then I'm going to add this uh, the, the topic uh, to my SNS 
SNS the topic this the topic ID and then you want of course you want to use a unique ID in your account right don't just use this uh, then display name um, and your the, my topic let's say topic so that is uh, from the top, that is the topic itself then I'm going to add the subscription topic add subscription new subscription that's now here is where it gets interesting you could make a call to your URL you could do uh, you could put put something in an SQS you could send SMS you could also hook it up to a lambda function uh, that uh, and then that which would get triggered when these conditions are met for this demo I'm going to just add this email uh, to keep it simple my email so I just don't write it here uh, so that uh, um, it's not added to this one um, so and then after that we are going to hook up our um, our la our uh, the, the condition that we specified here to the subscription that we just created here so uh, now here I'm going to add this uh, rule dot add target new targets dot SNS as you can see you, you can also add a lot of targets see ACS task event buzz everything it's a really powerful construct but I'm going to say SNS topic and then pass in the topic name that just created then so believe it or not that is it um, but one thing before you, you could deploy you can see here uh, there's a lot of stuff that are created for you the only line that you need to uncomment is this line so uh, you don't need to add your AWS credentials uh, hard-coded and everything it just takes everything from your environment uh, now to run this I'm just going to say npm run build and it builds the project uh, yeah it's going to take a bit of time but it should do it now great and then I'm going to say CDK synth I don't want to deploy it to my, uh, to my um, environment now uh, because I think there are a lot of stuff that would come up um, but as you can see, it just synth synthesized everything for me, and um, it is fine actually. So um, it's gonna take a bit of time, but yeah, as you saw, it just synthesized everything for me. Um, yeah, so that is it actually. Um, and one thing before, um, after you deploy this, if you wanted to avoid um, costs or avoid people poking around with the stuff that you just created you could just say cdk destroy so yeah um thanks for watching uh, i'm just also going to add the github repo uh, to the to the descriptions uh, please let me know in the comments if you had questions and thanks